hello guys today we will see the fabrication of a cone in AutoCAD here I have made a sample we have a diameter of 100 let me change the scale now it's a little bit bigger you can see easily it's a hundred meter and the height is hundred millimeter and we have a base it's something like this the diameter bigger diameter and the small diameter look at this it's hundred it's two hundred all dimensions are in millimeters It's 200 millimeter. It's 100 millimeter, and the height is 100 millimeter. Here we have a symbol of diameter for better understanding. Now we have a data, small diameter, we have 100 and the height we have 100 and the bottom diameter is 200, you can see and for this 200 millimeter I will mention so this here bigger than 200 millimeter this is my main data for which I need to fabricate a segment now from the side if you see the cone in 2D dimension it will look like this now we will extend these two lines by fillet command it will touch at a point and this is a radius this is the second radius I will draw two radius from this point where they are touching at the top from here it will be my center and the other diameter <laughs> if I calculate the circumference for this diameter before rolling before rolling the segment I need to multiply by the pi value and it's a common value 3.14150 100 into pi and the answer is you can open the calculator now For the bottom, the same thing for 200 millimeter. Simply, I'll multiply by two because the upper diameter is 100 and the bottom is 200. So the result is 628.3 for the bottom. This is the circumference. As you can see in this triangle, we have two radius: triple 1.8. And the other is 223.61. That's why I will cut a segment with the dimension of these two radius. 
for these two diameters first of all i will cut these two radius from a point it's a x point it's not necessary you may cut you may cut up to the requirement now if you measure this length is 403 but we need only 300 that's why i will cut this cord length this and i will cut this arc length as per my requirement then you can see 314.15 now this is if we check this is the radius and this is the length 314.15 this one this is for small diameter and for bigger i will do the same process here i have a length 628.3 So I will cut this arc as per my requirement. Now from the center to the edge I will draw a straight line both sides. Now I will extend this radius here and cut this area. Now you can see the dimension is remain same for both diameters look you can see for small diameter circumference and for bigger diameter circumference both are same this is all segment for development for workshop You can prepare a proper sketch to give some detail to the fabricator like the distance he can draw the radius and the bigger radius this dimension and this dimension now this is complete these are all dimensions thank you for watching